Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on triangles. In the above figure, triangle ABC is equilateral triangle and triangle ABD is isosceles. If side BC is given as two units, what is the distance from C to D? That means we are supposed to find the distance from point C to point D. Now let us consider the given information here. Since it is mentioned that triangle ABC is equilateral triangle, then all the angles of this triangle is going to be 60 degrees. So angle A is 60, angle B is 60 and angle C is also 60 degrees. And since all the angles are equal, we have all the sides equal and BC is given as two units. So AB is also going to be two units and AC is also two units. And triangle ABD is given as isosceles and we can see that angle D is already given as 90 degrees. Using the angle sum property, we can say that angle A from triangle ABD is 45 degrees and angle B from triangle ABD is also 45 degrees. Now the question asks us to find the distance between the points C and D. Now let me drop down an altitude from point C which connects point D and drops down to the side AB. And let me name it as point E. Now this altitude dropped down from point C connecting D till point E divides the entire triangle into two equal halves. So we have triangle AEC, now a right angle triangle and we have triangle AED also 90 degrees. Now I'm going to divide these two triangles that is I'm going to take only this side of the triangles and draw them separately. Now I'm going to mark the angles starting with the triangle ACE. So let us look at the angle A first from triangle ACE. We had seen that the total angle A was 60 degrees because it was an equilateral triangle and we have angle E as 90 degrees. So let us mark it over here. Angle A is 60 degrees and angle E is 90 degrees. And using the angle sum property of the triangle, we know that this angle C is going to be 30 degrees. So that all the angles add up to 180. Now let us look at the smaller triangle ADE. So in this triangle, we have angle A as 45 and angle E as 90. So let us write over here, angle A is 45 and angle E is 90. And by angle sum property of the triangle, we can say that angle D is a 45 degrees as well. And it is isosceles because two angles are equal. So the respective sides are also equal. Now to solve this example, we need a special right triangles. So let us discuss those first. Now here you can see that I have drawn two special right triangles. That is 30, 60, 90 degrees triangle and 45, 45, 90 degrees triangle. Now for these two right angle triangles, we have to remember a rule where we have 30 degrees over here. So opposite to the 30 degrees is the smallest side of the right angle triangle. And we name it as X, that is the shortest side. Now opposite to the 60 degrees is always X times root three. And opposite to the 90 degrees, which is the longest side is given as 2x. Which means if length of one of the side is equal to 2. So let us take x is equal to 2. So AB is 2. Then BC becomes 2 root 3. And 2x that is replacing x with 2, we get AC as 4. So if we know the length of one of the sides, we can find the rest of the sides by using this special right angled triangle rule. Now let us look at this 45, 45 and 90 degrees angle. Now since this is an isosceles triangle, side PQ is equal to side QR. So if we take the side PQ as X, then the side QR is also X. And the longest side, which is opposite to the 90 degrees is written as root two times X. 
Now let us consider by giving it some values. Let us consider that PQ has again a length of 2. That means QR is also going to be 2. And root 2x is going to be, in place of x we are going to just replace 2. So it becomes 2 root 2. That is the length of PR. So remember the rule that for 30, 60, 90, the shortest side which is opposite to the 30 degrees is always x. The side opposite to the 60 degrees is always x times root 3. And the side opposite to the 90 degrees is always 2x. Similarly for 45, 45, 90, if we take one side as x, the other side which is opposite to 45 is also x and the hypotenuse or the side opposite to 90 degrees will be root 2x. Now using this rule, let us solve the example above. Now coming to this diagram, it was already given that the side BC was 2 and since triangle ABC was equilateral triangle, side AC and AB also was 2. Now since we dropped down the altitude from the point C till point E, it divides the side AB into two equal halves. That is we have the side AE as 1 and we have side BE as 1. Now since we have taken these triangles, let us write the values of the side AC and side AE. So AC is 2 and AE is 1. Let us write over here AC is 2 and AE is 1. And over here we can see that it is 30, 60, 90 degrees special right angle triangle. So opposite to the 30 degrees was always taken as x. And opposite to the 60 degrees we have to take it as x times root 3. And the side opposite to the 90 degree was always 2x. Now here since x is equal to 1 that is the value. Here CE becomes 1 times root 3 or it could be just written as square root of 3. And here, replacing x with 1, we get 2 times 1, which is equal to 2, as we have already got here. So let me erase it and write the values only. So AC is 2, AE is 1, and CE is square root of 3. Now let us look at the triangle ADE. Now we have one of the sides AE as 1, we do not have rest two sides that is AD and DE but let us just substitute AE over here now. Now AE we have 1. Since it is an isosceles triangle side AE is equal to side DE so this is also 1. So by using the 45, 45, 90 degrees special right angle triangle we get it over here as square root of 2. Now once we have got the values over here we have the value of CE and we have the value of DE. CE is root 3 and DE is 1. So let us come back over here. We have CE as square root of 3 and we have DE as 1. Now here we have to find out the value of CD. So CE could be written as CD plus DE. Now CE we have it as root 3 and CD we do not know and DE we got it as 1 so plus 1. So CD is equal to by taking the plus 1 on the other side of the equal to sign we get it as square root of 3 minus 1 or further solving it square root of 3 minus 1 gives us 0 0.732. So this is the distance between the point C and D. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So if you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.